this problem's for you to try. We've got, it's number 67 from your book. So it's one of the assigned homework problems. So you are getting a head start on the homework by working through this one now. We've got R is A over sine theta, where we're told that A is not zero, because if A was zero, that would just be R equals zero. That's really boring. It's just the origin. Okay. So we're told this is actually a little bit more interesting than that. Okay. What I want you to do is find me an equation in rectangular coordinates that would have the same graph. Remember, these are the formulas that you can work with, so it's not particularly helpful to have just an R by itself. The expressions that it's useful to have are tangent of theta, or R squared, or R sine theta, or R cosine theta. Any of those four expressions you can replace with something in rectangular coordinates. So take a moment, pause the video, see if you can work that out. All right, first thing I want to do is get that sine theta out of the denominator. For one thing, I'm not crazy about having stuff in the denominator. For another thing, I think that's going to move it over with the r, and that might be helpful. So if I multiply both sides by sine, I'm going to get r sine theta is equal to a. Now, I'm just going to make a little side note here that sine theta isn't allowed to be 0, because I can tell that from this form of the equation. It's less obvious from here, except, oh, I was told that a wasn't 0, so that actually is going to take care of itself. So I'm sort of thinking through it. Anytime I cancel something out of the denominator, I don't want to lose information about any restrictions that I had. Here, I actually haven't. There's no way sine theta could be 0, because it multiplies by r to give me this non-zero number. But that's great, because r sine theta is just y. So y is equal to a. I like it. Now, notice one thing that's kind of interesting about that. If a is not 0, but y is constant at a, that's going to give me a horizontal line that's not the x-axis. Okay. I'm going to just suppose a is positive. That would give me a horizontal line up here at height a. If a was negative, I'd have a horizontal axis line down here at height a, which would be negative. Okay. So you'll notice we said there were these restrictions that theta couldn't be 0. Well, there's no point, or sorry, that sine of theta couldn't be 0. There's no point on this line where the polar coordinates would have an angle of theta where sine would be 0. Because sine is only 0 at multiples of pi. So that's angles that are coterminal with 0 or angles that are coterminal with pi, none of which point to a point on the line. If I have a point on the line, I could have something like this where I've got an obtuse angle or I could have an acute angle, but I can't have a multiple of pi. So it's kind of neat to see that that restriction sort of just takes care of itself. 